Welcome back to Unapologetically Black and Fast 2022. The time is now. You're here for a brand new recurring Hot Fix Marathon, and Black Runners are front and center in a celebration of Black Joy. We're so excited to be here tonight. Tonight is the first night of this event. We also have, again, a second day tomorrow, starting at 3 p.m. Eastern. And you can type schedule in the chat to see what's left tonight as well as what's coming tomorrow. And then also, don't forget, your bits and subs do help support weekly Hotfix content and fun events like this. So if you're enjoying Hotfix, feel free to support the channel by subscribing or cheering. But now, without further ado, I bring to you Roads of Silence with Resident Evil HD Remaster. Take it away. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everybody, to UBAF. How's everything going? Hope you guys have been enjoying today's broadcast. My name is Roads of Silence, as Mello has introduced me. Um, and my commentator is, introduce yourself, please. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am the level best, and I will be doing commentary not just for this run, but for the next few runs. So get used to my voice. <laughs> we love it. We love it. We love it. All right, right now I'm going to be running Resident Evil HD Remaster uh, for the PC. Uh, this game was re-released in 2015. Its original was released on the GameCube in 2002. Um, then again, re-released -re on the P on PS3, PS4, or I'm gonna say next gen consoles at the time, and then released on PC as well. So we're gonna be running the door skip Jill any percent category, um, which means a lot of things are gonna be going by pretty quickly. So we're gonna start here. So I'm gonna go into new game. Also, this is my first GDQ, so I'm pretty excited, and I got level with me here, so we're good. Let's get high. Uh, I also run Let's the game. We run the game with the uh, text in simple Chinese because it's the fastest to scroll by for menuing and things of that nature. So we pick the first option here, which is normal mode. And then we go to select our character. Um, so you guys are in for a little bit of a treat. Uh, I don't believe today we haven't had any Metroid today, but we might see something in just a few seconds. So we're going to start in five, four, Three, two, one, and go. So, um, just as we're, we're getting into the game, uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the Resident Evil series, you probably already know it, but survival horror game, one of the originals, um, there's zombies and monsters lurking through this mansion and we basically try to overcome them as we have to solve all these puzzles and discover the mysteries of this this place um as you can see we're playing as zero suit young, samus it seems like that's not jill <laughs> the young <laughs> samus jill. valentine let's go all right then um so um zero suit samus and her um her trusted partner barry burton are trying to uncover the mysteries of this mansion currently they sent in a group Thanks. just before them and they're like hey we haven't heard from that group in forever let's go check it out and the rest is history um throughout this entire game we're going to be trying to solve puzzles we have to basically collect key items and then bring those key items from one side of the mansion to where they belong on another all the while um strategically avoiding these enemies um right now we're watching some stair skating it's a very simple technique but hard to execute well basically all you have to do is spam the run button as you're going up the stairs and it skips the animation um and it's a it's a really fast run door skip percent as he mentioned before meaning there aren't going to be any door loads which the resident evil series is very like infamous for those door loading sequences but because we're playing on pc you know it it loads it faster than what a console would need to i'm gonna see to take a wide line on that guy we're gonna see some uh some heavy stair skating right here the um technique that's actually being used right now is i think one that's exclusive to the door skip category if i'm not mistaken where you basically just map the run button to your analog stick and you can get in circles just so you can hit 
the run button on every single frame basically but some people some people absolute legends can just mash the button that fast consistently you know reset after reset and just keep it going there i think you have to press it at like like 13 times a second or something to get that speed um i could be wrong but I think something like that I was scared. I didn't know where he was. Isn't that the guy behind me? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Fortunately, um, when he got grabbed there, I mean, obviously, it's uh, um, it's time that's being taken away, but he did grab a dagger, which is a self-defense item. This game is the first to introduce self-defense items in the series, and if an enemy grabs you, you can either set it to happen manually or you um, happen automatically when you get grabbed. Uh, your character will use a self-defense item to push the zombie away. And that's good. Yep. There's because also it um, a little bit of, like, movement tech. So, like, we shift. With, in this game, um, during the re-release, they added... And I believe it was a, in a, the original a little bit uh, with the analog that was on the GameCube. Uh, but uh, they added so, no. free, free controls, which lets you... Like, initially, this game had tank controls where you can only use the directional pad. You move like forward like this, and you turn slow like that. Um, and then they added the ability to use the analog stick, which gives you free movement to kind of do like when I you see me running around in a, little, in a bit of a circle to do that. So you're gonna see like me shifting in between both those forms of movement in specific rooms. Come here, I bet. Yeah, it's really nice that they added the um the alternate controls in the remaster as as silence mentioned um normally tank controls you use left and right and it'll turn mm, the character gosh. it'll just rotate them to the left and to the right no matter where you're oriented up and down are forwards and backwards left and right are turn left turn right but with the analog stick it's more um it's more reliant on where your character is facing in the in the camera angle so like if he was standing, I don't know, right here where the door opened and if he pressed, move the analog stick upwards, it would move him up in towards that direction in which the camera is uh, oriented. I guess from the camera's perspective. I hope this dog sequence goes well. Door skip is really hard to um, provide commentary for just because of how quick everything is happening. And if you aren't aware of what's going on in the run, it can easily get confusing. I mean, for anyone who's familiar with Resident Evil in the game, you could probably say, oh, this is really fast. But for those of you guys who haven't experienced Resident Evil before, it's, it's a lot. There's a lot that needs to get done. Um, right now, we're trying to get this collar off the dog. Um, as you can see, it's it's glowing around its neck and it just dropped it and we need that because we're gonna have to do an old switcheroo later on and that they use that a lot in the resident evil series you take one item that's broken or irrelevant and you replace it for the one of value so this one is going to be the dog collar we examine it and within it is the imitation key and um, we just hot swap that later. For the dog, I mean, obviously dogs in video games are definitely always the easiest and most enjoyable thing, but it's that like- <laughs> Yeah, enjoyable. <laughs> really enjoyable. <laughs> sure is. <laughs> Was that like, uh, just kill the dogs as soon as you can, or is, it, is there any particular strategy you try to do? So uh, there is an optimized strat there. Like if you are really good at it, um, there's called something called quick shooting in this game, which will show like with the heavy weapons and the smaller weapons. Um, I'm not fairly good at quick shooting. So uh, there's two ways you could go about it. Uh, back yourself into the wall. And sh if you know the timing for the dogs, um, you pretty much shoot the bullets until you kill the dog. When the dog with the dog collar drops, it doesn't drop it in front. It, it drops it close to the door and the hitbox to pick it up is like really big. So you don't have to go in front of the item and stand over it. So um, there's, there, you're lucky for, with that Ooh, at the bad end of it. Um, but yeah, if you are good with quick shooting, which is like taps that are frame perfect, essentially, um, you can get it, you can kill the animal, animals as fast as you can. But again, like I said, I'm not good at that. Yeah, unfortunately there's no save the animals option. <laughs> Sorry. Not in this. 
Not these animals. Not yeah, not these, these ones. These there's animals another, hurt. <laughs> there's another one later on that we can save. Quite a few, actually. I'm going to reset this room. So this is a safety strat here. Um, if you saw that big guy there trying to swipe at me. Um, he's really dangerous and he does a lot of damage. So I usually use that room or that door as a safety net in case the bald zombie's position isn't somewhere I like because that camera angle is so tight. And this game is known for its static camera angles. Um, they change, obviously, when you, when you enter into a new one. Um, because that camera angle is so tight and where that zombie is placed, I didn't feel comfortable enough to dodge it with like a spin dodge that I do. Also, side note, the dodges in this are hit or miss. Um, you have two choices that you can do if you're really good. There's a back step dodge that you can do, or you could do what I'm doing, which is super, super dangerous, in my opinion, because if you spin and the zombie grabs you, sometimes it'll grab you from behind, which you can't use a safety item with. Um, so yeah, there's that. All right, level go. I'm gonna focus right here. Okay. Um, some I saw someone in chat said, um, <laughs> they said, some people swear by the tank controls. I only ever swore at them. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that, um, I thought that was funny. No, that was that was pretty funny. <laughs> let me um. Let me, uh, I guess I'll talk a little bit about the quick shooting, which we'll see la yeah. a little later on, but I'll mention it briefly here. Um, so in most Resident Evil games or the early Resident Evil games, um, quick shooting is basically just canceling the animation or resetting the animation, the fire mm -hmm. animation That's before nice. it ends. And um, in this game, it's a little different. For the handgun, you just have to like rhythmically time the fire button as you're holding aim. And you can only do like a max of, I think, three shots, which is like a burst fire. And yeah. there's um there's actually a gun that you can unlock the the infinite ammo samurai edge where if you just hold the button, it actually does that that burst fire. So it's really nice. Um but the other the bigger guns are gonna be quick shooting. Pretty simple. You just aim and fire. And then you wiggle your your analog stick and then fire again. It's 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 shorter than just letting the entirety of the animation play through and um, starting another shot. Whatever I see somebody said tank tank controls are for the win. Um, I mean, I, the, for the speed run, the tank controls definitely are like clutch because they allow you to do straighter lines. Um, but I definitely like the analog, the free controls because of the the dodging the most. But then also, yeah, I do really like the tank controls for stair skating, so I'm a little bit torn. I, um, it depends for me. The only one I really use tank controls with almost the entire time is Resident Evil Outbreak. You know what? That's, that's true. I'm... Oh my gosh. Hey, wait, that has yeah. all controls? Yeah, it does. I didn't know that. I never thought to use the analog when I was playing it. The more you know. <laughs> wait, wait. Nah, I'm gonna go this way. I feel so bad for everyone inquiring about the camera, but you know what? I'm I'm gonna let silence take that one. <laughs> wait, what 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 are we asking about the camera? You know. Oh, you my camera. Camera. The camera. <laughs> ah, okay. So, um, funny story. I did used to have a webcam. That webcam was broken when I was uh, doing some cable management. And I got the bad zombie here. Give me a second. Hey, big guy, you want to come this way? Huh? No? Hey. You want to keep going? All right, he's going to ignore me. So we're going to have this conversation about the camera. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I used to have a camera. Uh, camera broke when I was doing some cable managing and my stand, sit stand dust lifted up and the wire got snagged on something. Uh, so I found the... This guy's gonna, not going to dodge. I found the picture yeah, that I got, do the most. We got double... Bad. We got double non lungers. So, yeah. yeah. So, uh, this room's great. Just real quick. Come um, on, guys. Oh, yeah. So here we go. To dodge these zombies, you want to like run in front of them and get grab their attention. And then they'll try to lunge at you when you, uh, you know, come a certain distance between them. Sometimes, though, and I call them uh, 
vegetarian zombies. Sometimes they just don't care for for human flesh, and they just want to get on with their lives. You know, they have they have uh, homes to get to. But anyway, oh yeah, when that happens, it's bad because your whole strategy is waiting for them to do that lunge, and when they don't do it, you're like, okay, um, is it safe? Or am am I cool? Am I in the clear? And then yeah, it's one of those there's some spots where, where you can do it. You can get past them, but it's like sometimes nah. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. I was just saying it's it's one of those moments where the moment you oh my God, come in, Greg. decide ah. I'm gonna go. They're like, I think I wanna lunge now. So it's just like a false sense of security and it's it's no good. It just throws everything off. Did you just got grabbed anyway, even though the, nope. they lunged? Yep. I didn't. I, I guess there wasn't enough space there. Sometimes you. Sometimes you can. It can happen where you just um, think you're good, but you're not. <laughs> oh, you thought. I know. <laughs> Only. Oh yeah, yeah. Like yeah, you thought. Yeah. Back to the camera. But not that's the face that I always make <laughs> whenever something I don't crazy goes ruin on. Your reputation. <laughs> right. Exactly. But yeah, I make. I make that face. The camera. I make that face a lot. <laughs> there's other meme photos of me somewhere and there's a bunch of faces that I make but that one that one happens often so like this kind of dodge right here where the guy's just standing there and he just swings it around you saw how easy that was that's when I was originally coming that way that's what I thought it was going to happen again and it didn't so it can just happen sometimes sometimes the spacing is not exactly what it seems you said um you said before uh, sometimes you think you're good but you're not but you're not. Yeah. Sometimes you, you feel like a nut. Are you are you reflecting? Re a little bit, you know what I mean? Just a little tiny bit. It's all good. Don't worry about the, the grabs and stuff like that. We have a lot of different safety items along the route. Backup strats. Good old backup strats. Yeah, anytime you're anytime you're gonna be in a marathon setting or no reset, you um you gotta have backup strats. And that's something about speedrunning that I've always found really interesting is, um, you know, to get the, the best runs, you know, you just reset and reset and reset until it's perfect. But I always thought or find it amazing when you have people who you know, just make the best with what they have and still pull off a great run. That's really good. We gotta run, boys. Let's go. What was that stair glide? It's called stair skating. Um, you basically uh, unequip your weapon and you spam the run button as you're going or traversing the stairs and it'll just lock that animation as they zoom. Guys, say hi and bye to Richard. I'm sorry we didn't get to meet him. So we got another case of the dot not wanting to dodge. I mean, lunge. Oh my god. Catching all the good RNG here. It's okay though. We got to heal downstairs, so we're fine. You'll know when I'm panicked, okay? I hope you guys are enjoying the um, the Lara Croft mod we're using right now. Oh yeah, Lara's looking real good right now. Wow. Gibbo, that is that is Lara Croft, Tomb Raider extraordinaire right now. I thought we were gonna keep it subtle. <laughs> That wasn't subtle? No. <laughs> no, it was not. Um, I mean, I could have been like, that's Nathan Drake. Like, oh, uh, Tomb Raider extraordinaire. Wait, wrong. Oh, they don't Tomb Raider. All right, so I'm going to pick up this fast and these fire grenades. That we're going to need for in, in just a moment. Heal up here. Get up out of here. Okay, 
So, um, it was so, I guess it was so brief. We forgot to mention it. And again, it's, it's really hard with everything zooming all over the place. We're going to be doing another run of this game later tonight, but it's going to be a randomizer. So everything you're seeing right now, forget it. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. Forget it. It's all going to go out the window up. when you see J-Rock and Kitten go at it in this. We're coming up on our second uh, boss fight. This is a Crimson Elder. We initiate this fight by inserting the four death masks that we've been acquiring that we, we didn't even mention because, you know, again, there's so much going on. There's so much to cover. Um, but we insert the four death masks. It's going to bring down this little coffin. And um, we have a bright red zombie in there ready to cow down. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to do this in a specific order here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought I just, yeah, it was a perfect segue too. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of a strategy here uh, while, while I'm putting these up on the wall. Um, so item management, inventory, and all that stuff, we do take that into consideration, as well as like false placement and how what we're doing. So the grenades I picked up earlier, um, I'm going into my inventory now, combining them into the grenade launcher and equipping that now. I kind of did this with the dogs when I got out there with the dog whistle. I used the, I equipped the gun and then I used the dog whistle. And then I put this on the wall. And it activates the scene here so that we don't have to go into our inventory during the fight. All right, I'm gonna go over here to activate the full fight. And now the strat for here is I wanna use only three grenade rounds. If for some chance I can't, okay, we have backups later on in the game. We wanna use three grenade rounds. So the first shot here, run up, shoot him, run over, shoot him, run over, shoot him. All right, yes, you do get hit by fire. That was a really good fight, three rounds. I did slow, quick shooting there, but essentially the same deal. When I moved and shifted around a little bit there, that was a, a slight quick shooting. But typically what you would do is you would aim, shoot, let go of aim, and then immediately just move forward with the analog stick, aim again, move forward with the analog stick, aim again after every shot. Because there's a small animation of Jill like reloading the gun or cocking the gun back a little bit because of the recoil. If yeah, we that were, was a smooth um, fight. If we were, yeah, that was a really smooth fight. If we were on a GDQ couch, that would be one of the those clap moments. We got a you lot of non-lunching zombies today. I, I'm, yeah, I don't like that's this. like what the fourth one. That's the fourth one. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Right, you want to be faster? There's a dog behind me, and I'm not facing here, right? Okay. So um, we actually just left the the mansion for the first time. So that's the first segment of the game done. Now we're going to be moving on toward the guardhouse. But before we get there, we have to acquire some items and visit our homegirl, Lisa, everyone's favorite Resident Evil villain. And hey, what's hey, up to everybody saying hero. hello in chat, by the way? Just make sure I, I see y'all. Don't worry. Ooh, first try. Let's go. I got a slow pattern. Yay. All right. Thank you for everybody coming out to hang out during the event, whether it was during this run or earlier in the, in the day, too. Yeah, it's a legendary day all, to be here. For, you know, first ever day of unapologetically black and fast. Yeah. I'm happy. This is the, this is the when you say I was here in chat. <laughs> I mean, this is going to be on YouTube later, so everybody should be saying I am here. I'm stuck on a tree. That's what I'm saying. I'm stuck on a tree. YouTube will hear. I am stuck on a tree. Okay. Tree strat. Um, we ran into that tree, tree there to um, for manipulation for the boss fight way later at the end of the game. If you hit the bark at a certain angle, it um it just makes it an insta-kill when you get there. So, true, good, good true, true. For remembering true. that. Oh, we, I never, that is true. He's, he is correct. So I think about inventory and item management. Yeah. Throughout this entire run, we're only going to come to this box twice. You said or that one last of these time. boxes. I said that last time. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> All right. But you typically will only come to an item box twice throughout this run and no other time. We do not need to go back to it. 
That's right. We don't want to be called a liar. Nah, no. Nah, game's gonna make me a liar probably soon. So let's 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 you know. Let's just everybody. Let me let, give right, me your so energy. This is a this is an important place here. Lisa You're does well. heavy damage, and she has a um, a couple different attacks that she can do. We'll see what uh, Silence decides to pull off. I'm out here, Chief. Nice. <laughs> Can't touch me. Nice. Can't touch this. All right, we yeah, out. So she she does heavy damage. Um, if he were to have gotten hit there, definitely would have taken him out of fine, and he would have slowed down again. Look, we're just we're just missing so many things. The more I talk about this game, I'll, I'll get better at doing commentary for it. I promise. So Are you good, in Resident Evil game. You're good. You have, um, we got a lot of running to do, games. so we talk about everything. You have a, <laughs> you have a health bar, and um, there's <laughs> you do? four different health states. Oh my um, god! You have fine, yellow caution, orange yellow. caution, and orange. danger. Um, in this particular Resident Evil game, if I'm not mistaken, you're the same speed at anything that's below fine. Sure. So caution, caution, and danger. Um, but it's still slower than your full speed at fine. So anytime we get hit, we, we, we're trying it's to avoid it. that as much as possible because we don't want to slow down. That's not only going to affect our overall time and, you know, how quickly we traverse the map, but it's also going to affect some of our dodges because, you know, a certain, a technique you might have practiced for might not work the same way because you, you have to account for that speed difference. And the health, the health colors, to be honest, like we usually use a speed running tool so we can see our inventory and our health and everything like that. Um, so that we don't have to go into our inventories to, to go see it. Uh, and for me, seeing the health bar would, would be nice so that I don't have to just rely on just seeing the words fine or caution or anything like that. Um, I don't use the SRT as much on this, like only because it's not um, something that it, it's a separate program that layers over the game itself, and I use two different computers. Uh, but yeah, I, will, I, I, I kind of drifted out there. I'm sorry. Um, I'm colorblind, so <laughs> see, I can't tell the <laughs> difference get, between. Just the, get right to it. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Like I'm, I'm, I'm colorblind, so like it's it it becomes a difficult thing later on. Sometimes, um, if I'm like on autopilot and doing certain things in the run and thinking I'm okay, like if I get a if I get hit a couple of different times and Jill still appears to be fine, but she's actually in caution. Um, she might be in, in yellow caution, which means I could be somewhere near 50% HP. Um, and I wouldn't really know if it's yellow or orange or red. So having the speed running tool is really helpful. Unfortunately, I don't have it on today, but it's fine. We back up stretch. Say hi, Barry. Say bye, Barry. So now Barry's we're in the guardhouse. Barry's a zombie now. Oh, yeah. So we're in the guardhouse now. Um, You know, quick walk. Oh, the, the vine on the floor here that I'm about to pass on this next room. It is, doesn't do much damage, but you want to make sure you get out of it as quickly as possible. You sound like it know. grabbed you for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I had to move my hand onto the analog stick. I use the analog stick to get right, uh, past it um, today. But usually I use the D-pad, um, but I had got a cut on my thumb. So I can't like rub my thumb on the D-pad to get escape things too much today. Oh, no. Which is interesting enough, this game I use a controller to play. Uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake, I use the keyboard and mouse. So it's kind of fun and interesting to go back and forth between the two games every so often. What was it that you said, Mello? I'm sorry. Is it like the friction of the slide on the D-pad that with the cut on the thumb that's stopping you? Yeah. Just that speed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I do have like that new skin stuff that you put on your thumb, but I'm like, I don't really trust it. I have never heard of that. Neither have I. Yeah, it's supposed to be like the like the liquid band aid. That's a fresh layer of fake skin. 
pretty much. It's weird. First time I used it today, too. So. Does it feel like you finger? Does it feel like? Yeah, it does. Wait, I like this room. The the, the, the sounds in this room, I like it. Because you hear, hear what it says? You, you hear that? U B A F. U B A F. Y'all you ain't hear that? All right, it's just me. All right. All right, guys. This has been fun. My name's Level Best, and I'll be turning it <laughs> off for the rest of the day. <laughs> there it goes again. It's right there. You hear that? Ah, oh, tripping. Oh my gosh, you remember and Cloudy with a chance to be pause and spray on shoes. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what it's like, yeah. How you gonna get them off, nerd? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, Oh my god. Alright, so I got I brought this fast for a reason, just so I could heal. So I'm actually gonna grab this too. Safety straps. I just recently got a PB in this game, so I'm not too worried about time for this one. Um as long as we're underestimating. There's going to be sharks in this room. We don't like sharks. They're mean. Especially this one right Dark here. It's going to grab my ankle in just two seconds. <laughs> exactly. All right. I'm going to go to middle route here. So the, the, there's two paths you can walk in here. And it's really, really dangerous in here. The outside path, um, the two sharks can grab you. And there's a big giant shark in the middle who likes to jump up and eat people. Uh, we don't want that. But the, the outside path is the longer path. The inside is the shorter. Um, so you want to try to get to the inside paths before one of the sharks bites you. It's really big, huge RNG, but it's a, a huge time save there if you can get it without them biting you. There's not many things in this run outside of movement that's, that, that are time saves during the speed run. This, um, it's so this uh, valve that you have to turn. It's a how do I say this puzzle has to be done in a specific order. You have to do an action on one side of the room, and then the shutters will come down. Then you have to rush to the other side of the room, and then they're like, Oh no, the valve is busted or something. And it's random whether you have to use valve number one, two, or three, but there's a document on the table that tells you which it is um, so you don't have to guess some people um don't believe in the randomness and they just always choose valve number three um i you know <laughs> to each their own it doesn't take yeah. that long to just to just look at the thing on the table you know but lord croft is immune to sharks <laughs> yeah lord croft is immune to sharks but yeah, like uh, the the chances, I think the chances between like the one, two and three, like the one and the three show up the most. And that's why people, some people skip the the, the, the paper. But Wait, honestly, are you saying it, it's it, not a 33 percent chance? I don't know, man. I don't it to be honest. I just know some people skip it. But here's our favorite skip in the game. Oh, uh -huh. You want to explain Here this a little? Okay, so this is save the animals percent. Um, normally, you're to push this control panel into the water and turn on the electricity and it will kill the shark and let you pick up that item freely. But if you decide not to do that, um, he decides he wants revenge for you, um, you know, taking out his little cousins and getting rid of his water. And, but if you're skilled, like our runner silence here. Yeah, skills. That's, is that what we're calling this he just, he just, He just has a little nap. So much of this Jesus, level this reminds is... me of uh, the movie Deep Blue Sea. Do y'all remember that? With Samuel yes. Jackson. <laughs> With the sharks. Hello, Cool J. Yeah, hello, Cool J. <laughs> we'll begin with... How to make the perfect omelet. All right. I usually let this guy grab me right here because it's just faster. Sometimes he doesn't like the dot, lunge, and sometimes he does. But it's just faster to just get grabbed. 
Yes, we really are doing save the animals. I don't I don't tell lies. Unless Bingo. it's Friday. We out here saving the animals, the young creatures, if you will. So in this room. I oh go ahead. No, you, heard it's completely unrelated to the game. Go ahead. No. I want let's hear it, level. I was say, are there really three deep blue sea movies? <laughs> are there? Hold up. Pause pause the whole stream. <laughs> let's talk about this one. <laughs> There's three of them? There was two? We need to hold up. Win! <laughs> well, see, um, Zeke hopefully I'm saying that right. It's just a it's a simple case of uh how how do you say it? Stro Schrodinger? I don't know how you say their name. Um Oh Schrodinger? You, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you um you didn't see them live nor die, therefore, you know, who who's to say? All right, so we, we kind of skipped over a lot of stuff that was just happening. Um, as, as we said before, this, this game goes by pretty quick because of the door skip mod. Um, now we're getting ready to go to our next boss fight, which remember those three grenade rounds? We, uh, we had left over from that first fight. We're gonna try to use them here and use only them. So wish me luck versus this plant. I'll explain the strat after it. That is, you shoot him, it go bang, and he dies. <laughs> All right, single face. Let's go. Nice. Whew. Yeah, couch, nice. couch clap moment. Couch clap moment. Have some claps in chat, please. Very good. Didn't even need the vegetarian zombies for that one. Nah. All right. So, in that moment, just before you saw like those two cutscenes. Um, the first cutscene, obviously, of him opening up, and then the second cutscene of killing him. Uh, I was doing the quick shooting strat uh, with the heavy weapon. But essentially, you want to shoot the two shots as fast as you can first with a flame round, only with the flame round. Um, this will guarantee just a one cycle kill, but you only if you can get the shot off immediately after the cutscene. If you don't, then it's going to be like a two two cycle. And I'm over here trying to stop and wait for the tentacle to grab me through the floor. He's dead now. We don't have to worry about that. <laughs> yeah, that tentacle was actually of Plant 42, the boss fight we just finished. And on your way back, you don't got to worry about him. Also, right, by so the way, I don't know if this is just a result of the randomizer, but you told me that those snakes can't poison you on the way back. Mm, yeah, no, but in the randomizer, they can't. I was thinking about that later, and I was like, he's probably going to ask me about that when he's doing... No, when you... Because you said you were testing, and I was like, he's probably going to ask me about that. I didn't have to So it randomizes these. I got poisoned <laughs> both ways. Yeah, I, like, I, for some reason, <laughs> I don't... I don't know why, and I think it has something to do with the um the battery. So like if you place the battery or whatever, or not, or if it's before you place the battery or something like that, or before the plant dies, something related to around like the plant and the battery, just like how the hunters activate, it's something with that. But if you're oh, walking no. back and forth through there with, you know, not killing anything, yeah, they'll, they'll poison you. In no, the randomizer. I had, I had, I've never been poisoned yeah. more than once. Oh, I'm going to grab these grenade rounds right here on the floor too. I'm also going to leave that first aid on this. Mm, I'm lying. I'm going to pick that up. All right, I didn't get poisoned, so I'm going to get rid of that blue herb out of my inventory. We'll discuss it later, though. Uh, we got to... Wow. I need we, sound for this. How did we mention... Next part. So I'm going to be super, super concentrating here. So give me a second.
Ooh, look at you. Nice. Look at you being clean. <laughs> what is there clean, a on that? baby clean? So, um, Let's go. Okay, so hunters in this game, if, if they are very dangerous. Um in earlier in pairs. entries of the Resident Evil series, um hunters have a insta kill attack that they can do when you're within a certain health threshold. Um, for whatever reason, some master, evil mastermind in Capcom and the year 2002 decided, you know what, that's a little too easy. So we're just going to have these guys trigger this attack literally any time they want. So at any point, they can, you know, they'll, they'll let out this, this shriek, this taunt, and they'll dash across the screen and... You know, Queen of Hearts off with your head. Um, no good. Hey, that's a Alice in Re yeah. Wonderland reference. I got that. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I understood um, that reference. <laughs> yikes. What a, you you made me lose what I was saying. And that's that <laughs> area is really my, bad because we're my on job stairs. Here is done. And um, when you're in stairs, there you can either go up or you can go down. And there's really? two <laughs> hunters. You know what? You know what? You asked me to be here, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Trying to figure out what? What you doing? Yeah, I'm like oh, building the whole you scene. You can either go up head. or down. We are learning here oh today, folks. Oh my god! I get it though. You you get surrounded by the bad. counters. It's bad. You can only go up and down, so they can sandwich you there. Oh, there's work, folks. <laughs> Oh my god, you know what? Okay. How you doing, chat? Okay. How you Explain. doing, chat? I'll have you guys know. Let uh GDT staff know that um <laughs> it, I was I was brought to this. <laughs> right. Let, I'm let, sorry. let the record state that I tried. <laughs> I tried. My oh finally a dodge. Alright, so I'll see, I'm gonna feed I'll see off you a, guys in Resident Evil 2 remake. I'm gonna feed off again. a levels levels You're explanation of stairs. <laughs> I'm gonna time out that. Can, can you can you at least can you explain stairs and uh the different the, what happens when zombies are on them as well as what you're explaining with hunters? Sorry, you're not gonna get anything more out of me. <laughs> Alright, sir. Thank you. I appreciate you. So um Starship Troopers, wow. <laughs> Four movies. Oh, huh? we, we taking it back. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. What are we doing? <laughs> well, I was trying to educate the people, man. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my lord. So silence, why don't you why don't you tell us uh what's going on here? Did I grab them? Leaving I did. in the dark. What's what's happening? I thought you were so explaining much. stairs. I'm sorry. I thought you were explaining the stairs. Well, I just did a couple of crazy dodges, and we got some good RNG in a couple of always. But I'm about to come up on the next boss, uh, which is... Remember that big giant snake that killed Richard? I don't know if you remember who Richard is, but it was that guy that disappeared earlier. Um, we're going to combine these rounds into this grenade launcher, and we're going to... One, two, three... Four. If all went well, and I get close, and I miss. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Six shots. Six shots is all we need. Uh, typically, what happens is there's only five, but I think I missed the first one because he was lifting his head up. So sometimes all the aim doesn't. Screen? Yeah, normally it's an off screen, but sometimes the auto aim, depending on like where, it, if, if I'm fast enough, depending on where his, where his head is, the shot will hit. But sometimes the auto aim doesn't catch it for some reason. I don't know why. But the strat there usually is only five shots. Um, ammo's, ammo count is, is very, very optimized for this route as well. I'm doing a lot of extra strats, with, as you can see, where I have like extra ammo now. I typically wouldn't have picked up any of the extra grenade rounds for anything that I'm doing. Um, so like the first uh, six flame rounds that we used, obviously the three on the crimson and then the three on the plant. Then we use regular rounds for this for yawn here. And then we would have to pick up one set of grenade rounds 
for one more room later in the game. Uh, but me, I'm going just above and beyond just in case crazy things happen. I'm picking up all the grenade rounds that I can see along the path. Yeah, Resident Evil speedruns are, firstly, they are inventory management, knowing what key items you need to have, knowing uh, how much ammo you need for each boss, and then movement, like, uh, you know, making sure you're turning those corners as tight as you can, not bumping into walls or other obstacles in the terrain, you know, perfecting those dodges on enemies. Um, and it might not seem like much. I mean, it's certainly not um, as far as tech is involved, not as complicated as some other speedruns can be. But, you know, when it comes to speedrunning in general, you, the goal is to be the fastest and all that stuff adds up. I went through the wrong door there. Professional. So what is it like? Simple, simple, easy to learn, hard to master kind of kind of deal. It's all a memory game, much like every speed run for the most part. So I really wish this guy would do that, and then I can do this, and then I don't know how many items are. I got a couple. I can go out the door. Oh, so did we explain the 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 the, the stair thing? Are you panic. still on that, bro? <laughs> yeah, my brain is still. <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh. Autopilot. <laughs> you know what? Hands Good are doing one thing, brain is somewhere runner, else. Because you're not a decent comedian. I, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm trash at comedy. Yes. See? Look at that. What was, it? what was the rim shot? Like, I didn't even know. All right, so I want to get to this door as fast as we can because there's a hunter in the room, and then I want to do this puzzle here. Is that what that's called? Or a rim shot? I thought it was. That's what it was called. I thought it was called a badum. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's what it. That's what it's doing, right? Like, I don't know. I didn't know it had a name. Uh, so anyway, stairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the stairs. Oh. Um. Oh, his keys don't work so like back that. on the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> it's not necessarily the stairs. It's the, the all right. So zombies in this game, um, if you are on a different, because I, I th I've done it multiple times and you're going to see it one more time. Oh, he almost hit me. Uh, I've done it multiple times. So like it, with zombies on stairs or anything that's not the same level as you, they will not grab you. They will only vomit. Um, so I wanted to kind of like point that out at one part where um, puppy is really anxious. Like in the basement where I turned the switch on in the water and then oh, don't do that yet. It turned the switch on in the water. And I, as when I was coming back after that first zombie grabbed me, the second one, I waited for him to come a little closer while I stood between the doorway and, and the water because there's just a little tiny lip that is there that is basically unlevel and the zombie puked. I'm level. Yeah, you're level. He wasn't level. But wait, if he wasn't, if you're level, he wasn't, uh, whatever. Um, wait, he wasn't level. Is he level now? <laughs> is he level now? Like, yeah, I don't know. But so yeah, like if, if because he wasn't on the same level as me, he vomited there on, the, on that at that point. Um, the zombies on the stairs that you're gonna see later, this one's gonna grab me. Zombies on the stairs, which you're going to see a few different times. Um, I'm going to get past them, and they're going to do the same exact thing, just stand still and vomit. But there was one zombie early on that, that, that did that, too. Uh, we're going to do this. So we've done all of that. We grabbed all these items. I grabbed this crank from earlier, did the same exact thing. But now we did it in reverse because we grabbed the battery so that we could do this without having to cross this lake that we now have filled back up with water. Or not lake, I guess. I don't know what you would call this. Reservoir? Um, so that we, swimming pool. Swimming pool, sure. So we can go into this. Okay, puppy. I like you too. It's okay. 
I, I feel like, like every animation for the dogs being thrown down is like the most aggressive they could possibly make it. Oh, it's it's worse if I have like a dagger and I stab. Them. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's even worse. I mean, I don't just, know if you've ever been bitten by a dog. I have. Um, <laughs> not, not, a, not the most passive thing to get off. Right. <laughs> All right. So, the, and so there's only there's not a lot of places in the game where there's like points of contention for me where I'm like a little panicked or worried about something happening. Um, I usually I'll, I'll voice it when it is something that I'm worried about. Uh, this next boss that's coming up, I'm kind of worried about it. Fun fact, I just learned about this, but the hitbox for this crank that I just picked up off the floor is very far. It looks like it's in between his legs. I don't have to move and I can pick it up. Uh, but anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, we're, we're, there's a boss that I'm worried about that's coming up next, which is a... You'll see. That's the You know, this upcoming boss is unapologetically black and fast. <laughs> I, I get wow. It. <laughs> and it's it's crazy because it's true. It mellow left. Yeah, because I can see the split name. Yeah. yeah. Um set I guess like a like a trigger warning. This is a there's gonna be some uh arachnids on the screen very short shortly. Big hairy ones too. So um if you guys don't like spiders you might want to avert your eyes uh, in these upcoming segments doing micro pauses oh look a boulder indiana jones dun, 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 all right we're good what a roll yeah so this it's gonna Samus. be um Samus is out spiders here. coming up now so look away We'll let you know when it's safe again. Don't worry, they can't get you. We protect. Oh, I called oh, never it mind. too. Good shot, bro. You're you're done. No, 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 <laughs> Silas no, 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 can't no. save you. Oh no, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about uh. Oh, ooh, uh, maybe I am talking about you. <laughs> Listen. Maybe I am. You. Don't do this. <laughs> oh, a friend. So, um, this is Black Tiger, the spider. <laughs> say, say hello. Okay. I hate that spider. Yeah, Black Tiger's off the screen now. It's safe. It's safe again. For the time being. So Black Tiger is like Lisa. It's like a truck. But it's like a truck. 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 It's. Truck. it's Legs like, like what? 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 <laughs> All right. Stop it there. Okay, Black Tiger hits like a like a truck and also poisons. So like that room is very scary if you can't get the right manipulation or RNG. This puzzle is really pr pretty simple. There's a little turntable in the middle of the room. I don't even think I'm in front of it. This is this this is the worst part about the camera angles. Sometimes. So there's a turntable in the room. We have to move this uh, statue onto it and it's going to rotate um, and there's a set amount of spaces that you or moves that you should be doing to do it so I think I count off like one two that first one I always like think about it and then this one's three two three you get one move three, stay two, in the same three. place push one two three one come on, come on. Two, three. One, two. I think I messed up here a little bit. I'm on the, I'm on the thingy. Oh no, I'm good. Here we go. Might be a little too far over to the left. No, we're good. 
So yeah, Held you count that out. Tape. You count that out and uh, you should always get this perfectly right. Idea here is so that one, you don't spend too much time pushing the block and spinning it around with the, I mean, the statue. And then two, also so that Jill doesn't get caught on the turntable because if she stands on it, she will also spin, it will stop and do an animation of, of her spinning. I'm coming back here for a safety herb. Because Black Tiger is still alive in that room. Now we can kill Black Tiger if we really, really wanted to, but it's almost faster. Save the animals. Pretty much. Uh, save the scary bug-like animals. I'm sure people animals. in chat are like, kill it with fire. <laughs> yup. See, oh, you see that thing that did that? All right, so we just walked in there and walked out. But you saw what Black Tiger just did with the, with the lunge. That is essentially what we wanted to do the first time, and it didn't do it. Um, that's the best RNG you could possibly get when you walk into that room is, is Black Tiger doing that attack and then you can just freely hit the door and get the webs off of it. Second good RNG is Black Tiger assisting you at the door by spitting at the door or uh, swinging at the door because it, it can also knock the webbing off the door, door as well. Hmm. You just said door like 10 like times. Like 16 times, right? Oh, yeah. I'm great. I'm going to use this. Pick this up out of here and we can do this puzzle. So have you been streaming this game a lot recently? Uh, yes, but I've also streamed this game for like seven years. Whoa! Really? A lot. Yeah, a lot. Wow. I couldn't tell. It, wow! Couldn't tell. couldn't tell, right? That's right. <laughs> Who would have thought? My, I can tell. I, <laughs> I mean, this runs kind of like stairs, you know, up and down. Up and, wow. up and down. <laughs> oh, this room's interesting. You have Lisa, and she spawns based off of which the direction that you go first. So I went to the left. I'm going now, and I'm going to the right. She's not here. But if I went to the right, she would have been in this in that hallway first. Stairs. Yeah, that's a really um, cool thing that they did there. But yeah, seven years. Um, and I like, oh yeah, I like the Resident Evil series. It is one of the first games that I like. I, I would say like I've ever speed speed ran ever. Um, Cause like you know, for when you beat this game, uh, it gives you a time, you know, ending time, and, and like I don't think a lot of games did that. So I guess even in early days of the game's inception, like even the OG ones, like you know, you were always prompted to beat the game as fast as you could, and yeah, I've been essentially doing it ever since. But officially. I guess the most recent, like the recent, maybe like four years of actual speed running. It's always cool. The end game timers are kind of just like, oh, okay, okay, I can do that faster. Let's go again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they even incentivize you um, with like unlocks. Like you get the rocket launcher mm. in the original game for beating it in under three hours. And I think in this one, the, the same rocket launcher under three hours, but you also get like an infinite ammo handgun for under five hours, I think. Yeah. It's one or the other. I don't know. We, we, be, we always beat it at under three. So it was just like you, inch, you ended up getting those items. So I forgot after all these years. Yeah. And they also, I, um, okay, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just gonna say with the, um, with the re-releases in 2015, they pretty much, the only thing that, that was unlocked from the get-go, because the costumes used to be behind that too, um, but the only thing that they kept or unlocked initially with the re-releases was the costumes, I think. Um, Some of the costumes, not all of them, not all of them. No, just uh, just the BSA outfits, and those are those are new. Those are new, right? Okay, new so that's what I'm thinking. That's yeah. why. I th that's why I said like the costume, because you used to have to get but the key you can in order choose to get your to costume. Get the costume. Yeah, you can choose your costume at the start of the run. You don't actually have to go into. You still can, I believe, 
go into the the room to change it like the closet with the closet key but um you can choose your costume at the start of run in the remasters so that's nice all right so there i dodged lisa's attack so we never really went into too much of her attacks or like how they really work uh, they have this weird really weird hitbox so i wanted you you want to make sure whenever you are trying to dodge her she has two attacks the swing attack and then that one there where it goes down to up um you want to make sure her hands you know, during both attacks go completely down so that the animation is completely done if you don't you'll still get it actually i'm lying she has three attacks i'm not sure if she does the other attack though um normally like don't when you see her in the hallways and stuff like that or is it only during her boss fight oh we're back here at her house because lisa's house you need to clean up bro a little bit man like i mean not even a little bit just a lot you see all that looks like black tiger's been in there <laughs> i mean they might have been shacking up you never know um i'm not knocking it that she and the spiders rock out I wish them the, the, the best and happiness and all that fun stuff. Didn't um um Hagrid have the a best lines spider ever. that was like like his like a dear friend in Harry Potter? Harry. Aragog. What? what? Yeah, thank That's you. It. Thank you. All right, uh, so we're going back to the mansion. I think we're done. We're going to the lab next, right? Are we, Lisa? Yeah, Lisa. I don't know where we are. Um, Brain's on autopilot a little bit. No, wait, you can't go in the mansion yet. Why? I mean, to the lab, because you forgot to switch it to Wumbo. Huh? I'm confused. Don't do this. <laughs> don't do this. The <laughs> brain is on autopilot. What are we doing? Lisa Trevor. I'm going to the lab. Go to the lab. Go to the lab. Go to the lab. Go to the lab. Bro, bro, to the lab. I, bro I said Wombo. Like, <laughs> like I, that's why I was like, wait a second. That was a joke. But like, hold on. <laughs> and now, Mello, you see why we have the splits. Right. Yeah, because don't don't leave it up to me. I'm all messed up. <laughs> Like, oh no, I forgot Wombo. Right. <laughs> the study of Wombology. <laughs> oh my god. Examine. So yeah, we're pretty much done with the game here. Um coming up on yet another interesting boss fight. This was not too bad. But so hopefully so far, like all the stuff we've been explaining and like trying to go over, I know it's, it's been a really quick run um, in sense of like going through the rooms and things because like using the door skip mod, you remove the loading times. Um, and this it, it this is really just an item collection game at that point. Um, the next so. run is my, and don't mess up the 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 selection this time. I will, I will <laughs> not. I will not. I, I learned from last time. All right. Slow, slow your roll. All right, Strat's here. Hold up. Okay, girl. Come here. She didn't do what I wanted her to do, but it's fine. Nice. That was that was really clean. Yeah. That's the last we see of Lisa, unfortunately. Um, she's gonna reach into this coffin and grab the head of her dead mother skull, I guess. And then um Blues could do we can do. <laughs> I'm not going that way. Perfectly good elevator right here. Um, so just just really quickly, there was a cutscene that we that we skipped just then. Um, our partner Barry, we discovered that 
he was a traitor. Traitor. Oh no. Oh my god. And um but oh no. Jill used her her Jill Fu. Oh I'm sorry, Samus. Samus used her. Did you get it right? No 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 no. Laura. 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 Peppa Pig used Peppa Fu and um acquired the gun. From Barry. Going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. Then, <laughs> oh my gosh. This just goes deeper and deeper, bro. Wow. Her brother Caillou would be so upset. <laughs> Clifford. Well, but where's the red dog? Um, what am I saying? What am I saying? Who cares about this red anymore? I don't know. Um, there's a hey, cutscene. You take Barry's gun. The game gives you the option to give it back. We say no because he sucks, and we take his gun. And it's super powerful, especially against living things. Boom headshot. So for this puzzle here, the password is, I mean, the username is John and the password, if I can get to the password, is Ada. Names we will be hearing later in the next run. And then the code here is cell. Oh, so what I was going to say before we went down that rabbit hole, um, <laughs> Resident Evil HD Remaster, um, for those who aren't too familiar with the run, it might not seem to like visually appealing because again there's like not much tech and things at play you're mostly just running from room to room and trying to do that well however the upcoming run resident evil 2 remake is so much more engaging um i feel like we won't have a hard time at all you know keeping up with what's going on it's uh it's 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 Why a treat. I grab that? so definitely stay tuned for that one. Yeah, it's 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 a lot I'm not gonna say it's difficult to kind of commentate this a little bit, but it's more there is a lot of things like I can explain exactly every little ounce of things that we're gonna do, like picking up every single It's hard item, to make it interesting. Next room. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to make it it's a little hard to make it interesting. Um but I love the banter to, to go back and forth with uh, having the commentator and going back and forth about the things that even when we know the game. Um, but yeah, like typically during during streams, I usually do explain everything uh, and also have some jokes here lined up here and there. Uh, so here, like you line up doing? the jokes, line them up. You you took notes. <laughs> okay. So yeah, this is the powerful berry gun, and I'm clearing out some enemies something that we have to do later which is another segment that i'm gonna need sound for that guy we're good oh can i can i go over this while you go do the thing yes but uh yeah do it while i'm running back to all right room. yo check it out so here is Brats. the empty fuel capsule we have to take it from this room and go back i think like two to three rooms deep and fill it up fill up the fuel capsule with fuel i guess <laughs> and bring it back to where we picked it up from originally um it's a dangerous because the fuel is highly explosive and this game is very um it's, it's not very friendly to us and if we move too much we will explode it'll be game over that's the end of the run. Um, there's going to be a strategy we use here where we take, um, I believe, what is it? Three step? I don't know. I don't two, know what two, two, five, two, five, two, five. Okay. Two steps. We walk two steps. We run. F we run five steps. <laughs> Some rooms you can't make the full five steps, but here you can. So the animation or steps does not match up with the sound, so you have to listen to your steps.
one step over, you explode. Oh man, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. At some point, like I just I just look away from the screen because I can't watch. But yeah, if he if he would have done just one ran one step too much, it he would just it would just blown up. Big explosion, ka kablam, kablooey. Right. I'm so of, glad that's over because I counted. Se you didn't tell us that the <laughs> animation was off before, and I was like, that's six steps. Yes, Waiting for yes, an explosion. So that, <laughs> that, Nothing at all. That, that's one of those that's one of the few things like technique wise in the game that that exists for the, like the speed runs it's like and it's one of the things that you need to pay attention to um just like earlier with the with the hunter dodge that i did up the step or hunter stairscape um set up like that's a sound cue because that hunter upstairs on the second floor screen runs and screams and you can hear it but if you're not paying attention too well then you won't know when to to go ahead and try to make the leap so like for this part it's definitely you when i first tried it i was like this doesn't make any sense i'm looking at her feet she's not you know she's running i'm running these steps and then like someone was like hey just count the steps you know it's, it listen to the, you have to listen to the sounds of the taps versus looking at you know her feet actually move hey wesker that's wesker we right, met him earlier but we didn't our really final see boss fight by the way um yeah. That was our final boss fight. <laughs> yeah, he did. This is why we take the gun from Barry. We don't give him his gun back because one, he's a loser. Two, um, his gun can do that. <laughs> yeah, and as I was saying before, like we're 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 pretty much coming up on a uh, time for this run in a, in a few minutes. Um, a few seconds actually. Well, I say a minute, but uh, yeah, like a lot of the the tech and for this run is really just optimized movement, optimized lines, um, that kind of stuff. Anything to minimize extra like wiggling and running all over the place. So uh, that's why the timings for this. I believe like the world record for this is uh, is like 54 minutes. Yeah, you're in the way, buddy. Um. But yeah, that's why the, the timers are so tight with the records is because people have hunkered down and, and just optimized just the movement part pieces of it. Um, aside from that, it's just memory. Everything is, is a memory, is memory game, follow a line. And it's really, simple, really easy to pick up. Really, really easy to pick up. I encourage anybody who's interested in it to definitely give it a try. And oh my God. I inspected that. I think in chat, I think they're saying that Resident Evil is a metaphor for order picking and retail. Wow. All right, so time's gonna come up when the cutscene happens. I'm gonna pick this up. I'm gonna use this item. And time. You did a fine job. Sweet, GG. Do you have uh, any any last things to say uh, about this one before we break um, and then go into the next one? Nah, uh, that's it. Uh, it's a good. It's a very very quick run. Very uh, sorry if the if you were looking for really really deep, intricate strat giving. Best I could say is, it's just good luck. <laughs> but it's really oh, good, wow. good easy game again. <laughs> no, really good game. Uh, 110 23 is actually a really good time. Like, even if you're starting out, um, like, two hours is a really good good time. Um, it's a really good, easy game to get into. Like, my PB for this, I just got a new one, is 107. Uh, 107 is six seconds, I think, now. So, um, if you can, if you saw how I did this without optimized movement and with backup strats and safety strats, then imagine what you can do if you narrowed it down to optimize it even more. Imagine how easy it is to actually optimize this and, and go forward with it. So, you guys aren't done with me though. You got me for like another hour and a half because I got another. No, yeah, so. <laughs> absolutely not. Yeah, yeah. But 
Thank you so much, uh, you know, Roads of Silence and the Level Best for that fantastic run of the Resident Evil HD remaster with that zero suit Samus, any percent. Remember to get up and stretch, take a break. Uh, I am actually going to be out after this one, but we are celebrating Black Joy tonight, and I'm going to join you in the chat because we're having just such a great time. And when we come back, you'll be joined by Pleasantly Twisted. So we'll see you shortly. Mm, all right.